What's going on everyone and welcome to the channel. So in this video, we're gonna be going over how to buy and sell stocks on Webull. So we're using the desktop platform. You're gonna have a very, very similar trading feature on mobile if you wanna use the mobile app. But let's just talk about the desktop platform here for you guys. So what I have is a custom layout. Now this custom layout, you can find a video of me going over how to build a custom layout on Webull. Just search custom Webull layout on my channel and you should be able to find that video or check out my Webull playlist that I have. So. We are looking at a custom layout that I currently have, and what I have is this trading um, tab open or this trading widget. So if you want to quickly get an uh, understanding of where I got that, go to widgets, go to trade, and then it's going to be pretty simple in classic trade. So it's going to open up this classic trade. I can pull another one up. I have it customized to the size that I want it, but there we go. So we can remove that for right now and talk about how to buy and sell. So as of right now, what I'm looking at is a stock called TBLT, Tough Built Industries, and I have a position already in TBLT at the time I'm filming this video. But on this section or this trading tab, you're gonna see buy, sell, or short. Okay, so you have all these options. Now, what I'm using is this customized section. If you're someone who's new, don't really know how to get there, it's this little um, paint roller symbol kind of thing. You also may be in a stock section where you will see something like this. And so you can also customize all this stuff, but you may be seeing something that looks like this. And this is a, a different stock that I'm also in right now. And you also, again, see this trading tab here on the right-hand side. So it's going to be very, very similar. It just depends how your layout is. Everyone's going to have a different layout. If you're on mobile, it's going to be also pretty simple in terms of going into the individual stock and clicking on the quick trade tab. So what I'm going to do is go back to my customized tab here that I have, and I'm going to click on buy. So if I want to buy, now I'm not actually going to put this order through. I'll, I'll explain why, but I'm going to click on limit orders. Now I'm going to have a video going over, and I already do, but I'm going to have an updated video going over Webull order types. So type in Webull order types on the channel, and if I haven't made the new video, you'll at least see the old video, which will discuss what each of these order types means and kind of how you can use them. So let's say I wanted to put a limit order in. Now, a limit order is going to be really cool because if you put a buy limit order, it's going to be bought at that price or better. So I'm not going to get filled at the market price. And the market's actually not open. It's pre-market hours, which hence why we see this little kind of night symbol and we see this little sun symbol. Once we hit the black, we actually turn to market hours. Now, you, of course, can have a white screen if you want. I have the dark mode enabled here. on people will just quickly go to settings and you can find the dark mode versus the light mode. So... If I want to buy 10 shares, I put in my limit price. So right now the stock is trading as we see pre-market hours of 83.7. Okay, so 83 cents and a little extra seven on the end. So there you go. So it, you actually, that's one thing to note, you can trade in half cents and tenths of cents. So it's not like just 83 cents is what you can buy at. You can trade, you know, there's more, more to it right there. So let's say that I wanted to buy more of this stock at 80 cents or better. Well, I'm gonna put a limit order in for 100 shares at 80 cents or better. Now, one other thing to note here is that you do want to pay attention to the time and force TIF and your extended hours. Now, I always have extended hours checked and it's actually a setting that you can also put in into the settings section, which is down here and always have extended hours checked. I do that because I'm always potentially going to be trading either pre-market, after-market hours. Um, you know, I, 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 you know, that's extent, extended hours trading is when I do a lot of trading as well. So I always have it checked in case it just so happens that it's not normal trading hours when I do this. And Webull has trading hours from 4 a.m. Eastern to 8 p.m. Eastern. 4 a.m. to 9.30 is pre-market, and from 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. is after hours. So you can trade during those times. That's why I have it, but you can also click no if it's just during the day. Um, time and force, good till canceled or day. So this is going to get canceled at the end of the day. Now, when I have extended hours checked, this will get canceled at 8 p.m. Eastern tonight if it doesn't get filled. So why won't it get filled? Well, when I put this order in, I click on buy TBLT, right? It's going to be $80 or it's 100 shares. And also, people, you have to buy 100 shares of a stock that is under $1. So the stock under $1, the minimum you can buy is 100 shares. Now, you could sell those 100 shares and get rid of, you know, maybe half or however much you want right away. That will be a day trade if you do it the same day. But that's that. So now this order is popping up here on the platform. So what we see here is the stock's trading up here, our order's here, so the stock would have to come down all the way to here or lower for me to get filled, okay? That is something you need to note. If you don't get filled during the day, this will be canceled unless you put the time and force good till canceled, which means you have to go and cancel that order for it to go away or it gets filled, and of course, if it gets filled, 
there's no need for the order anymore because it's already filled. It's done, right? It got filled, that's it, you move on. So that's that. Then you can come in here quickly and click on the X if you're on desktop and get rid of that order, it will submit, and that order will now be gone. You'll also get a little bit of a uh, notification up on the top right. Now, selling, same exact thing. Pretty much, you know, no worry there. If you're gonna short, I would think that's more of like an advanced, something that I'll talk about more in an advanced video. But pretty much that's how you buy and sell. It's the same exact process for a sell. Now, if you do go to click sell, right, and you put a limit order for a limit sell, it's gonna be that price or better. So if I was to go and sell, you know, TBLT right now, I might put a limit price of let's say 87 cents and I would go for 100 shares, 87 cents, and then watch what happens. So now this is gonna be an order that's gonna be up here. We won't actually see it. It's gonna kind of show a little bit of an arrow and it's up here. Now it's not gonna fill because TBLT would have to get to 87 cents or higher and then I would get filled. That's how limit orders work. Now if it's during market hours, you can book, put a market order. Now, what's gonna happen with a market order is you're going to get filled most likely at the ask. So what we're looking at here is level two. So we have the bid, we have the ask. You're most likely going to get filled at the ask because you're gonna get filled right away. It's guaranteed. If you're gonna click a market sell, you're gonna get filled at the bid, okay? Just something that you want to know. When you're market buying, you're gonna get filled at the ask most likely. And if you're market selling, at the bid. That's a quick way to know you're going to get in because when you click market order, they're going to fill you right away at the quickest possible way to fill you, okay? And then I'll dive more deeper into these types of orders on that other video like I mentioned, but that's pretty much how it works on how to buy and sell stocks on Webull, the app, very, very similar type of platform that you're gonna look at here. And you can put stop losses and take profits, but that will be more discussed in a further or later video. So hopefully that makes sense. Hope you guys got something out of this video. It's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Once you kind of get the hang of it, get used to it. Um, that is how you buy and sell stocks on Webull. There's more advanced ways to do it in terms of active trading. But again, that's probably for another video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. Any other questions about other stuff about Webull, check out my Webull playlist and I will see you guys in the next video. Links down below to get those two free stocks like always. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.